into lakes and streams today. In summertime, there's a real buzz in Baikal. In Europe, the king of fishers is out fishing. What used to be a reservoir for Londoners' bath water is transformed into a wetland sanctuary. The monsoon performs another kind of transformation, turning a semi-desert into a wildfowl wonderland. And what's a $12,000 mink got to do with Britain's rivers and streams? Let's start with a lake buried in the heart of Central Asia. Just north of the Mongolian border, beyond the mountains of southern Siberia, lies the world's largest body of freshwater. Over 600 kilometers long and one and a half kilometers deep, Lake Baikal holds over a fifth of all the freshwater in the world. It's now the short Siberian summer. The lake's meter-thick ice begins to break up and literally comes alive. As the frozen lake melts, caddisflies that survived the winter as larvae beneath the surface ice now begin to emerge. Great swarms fill the air. Once night falls, the temperature will again plummet below freezing. So the flies pack tightly together on the shore. And these carpets of insects don't go unnoticed for long. A mother bear leads her cubs to the shore to lap up this buzzing seasonal feast. Tiny insects may not seem much of a meal for an animal as large as a bear. But after the long winter months, they're a welcome source of protein. This mother was not alone in noticing the swarms. As a large male approaches, she retreats with her cubs to the safety of the forest. But there are plenty of flies, enough for everyone, and she will return. <laughs> 